My name is Jakub Ter Blanche, Embryologist and VitroLife Academy Manager. I'm now going to demonstrate to you how to vitrify embryos using the RapidVit Blast Kit. The key to good results in vitrification is the correct balance between the cryoprotectants used, the exposure time and the temperature. The time frames in this protocol are critical and the recommended volumes should not be changed. Work on a heated stage at 37 degrees Celsius and keep the lid on the dish whenever applicable to minimize the evaporation. In order to do vitrification, we will make use of the following. The Rapid Vit Blast Kit, which consists of three solutions. The Rapid Eye, the 5 well culture dish, a sterile dish, the ultrasonic Rapid Eye sealer and the smart box containing liquid nitrogen. Place between 0.5 and 1 ml of each of the vitrification solutions in separate wells of the 5 well dish. Place the lid on and heat to 37 degrees Celsius. Do not heat the vitrification solutions in a CO2 incubator. When you open the pouch, place the rapid eye inside a sterile dish and label the straw in between the two black lines. Transfer your blast assist from the culture dish into the first solution and leave it there for a minimum of five minutes. After five minutes in the first solution, prime your pipette with the second solution and move your embryo from solution one into solution two. Your blast assist will remain in this solution for two minutes. After you've moved the blast assist into the second solution, you can move the rapid straw into the smart box containing the liquid nitrogen to cool down. When 30 seconds in the second solution remain, make two 50 microliter droplets from the third solution in the sterile dish where you've placed the rapid eye before. Prime the pipette with the third solution and move your blast assist from the second solution into the first droplet. Empty your pipette outside of the droplet and prime it again from the second droplet. Move your blast assist immediately from the first droplet into the second droplet. The total exposure time from entering the first droplet until vitrification should be 45 seconds. Before loading the blast assist onto the rapid eye, remove the metal rod from the rapid straw and discard. Move the embryo from the media in the droplet and place it inside the hole with as little media as possible. Immediately after loading the rapid eye, place it inside the straw and cover it with your hand. Now, seal the rapid straw making use of the ultrasonic sealer. When you're finished, inspect the seal to make sure it has been performed correctly. You can now move the sealed straw into your cryocane. The lowest black mark of the rapid straw must always be submerged in liquid nitrogen. The cryocane can now be transferred to your long-term storage tanks according to your own protocols. I'm now going to demonstrate to you how to warm your blast assists. We're going to need the following. The rapid warm blast kit consisting of three solutions, the cutter, the forceps, the five well culture dish and the smart box containing liquid nitrogen. Place between 0.5 and 1 ml of each of the warming solutions in a separate well of a five well culture dish. Place the lid back on and heat to 37 degrees Celsius. Do not heat up your warming solutions in a CO2 incubator. Once you've identified the correct patient for warming, move the cryocane containing the rapid straw into the smart box. Now, carefully remove the rapid straw from the cryocane and place it in position. Make sure that you never remove the straw from the liquid nitrogen. The bottom black mark on the straw should always be submerged under the level of the liquid nitrogen. Wipe your straw with your fingertips so that you can clearly visualize the top of the rapid eye. Now, hold on to your straw with the forceps and lower the cutter over the top of the straw and cut it just above the black mark of the rapid eye. Lift the rapid eye out of the straw using the forceps just high enough so that you can grab hold of it with your fingertips. Remove the lid of your dish and in one quick movement place the rapid eye inside the first solution. Wait until you see the blast assist is released into the solution before you remove the rapid eye. The total exposure time in the first warming solution should be two minutes. Move your blast assist through the different warming solutions following the times on the protocol. When you have completed the last warming step, 
move your blastocyst into a culture dish and culture according to your standard culture conditions.